Okay, so these are the um, new Croak, I believe they're called, portable solar panels that I bought from Banggood. They are advertised as, well, here, 200 watts. But actually, if you do the math, it's more like 150 nominal. It's here, 19.8 volts by 7.5 amps, which is roughly 150 watts. Um, the build quality on them is rather good. Although, they don't really work or they don't they're not very efficient because this is what i get with this kind of sun it's it's really nice and sunny here full sun it shows that it is charging but it doesn't even measure the watts so it's like under one watt and now it, it just stopped I've observed them over the last few days and what they do is when they overheat they completely stop working so they don't put out any power at all but this is how the connection is made here just using the Vago connectors right straight from the panels and it goes to this XT60 plug And then in the Bluetti EB55. See, it detects that there's something connected, but it doesn't really do much. So, to demonstrate that the Bluetti works fine, I have this adapter. This is one of those... Um, PD triggers that outputs 20 volts from power delivery with an XT60 at the end of it. Let me plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in. And now, just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to plug it in into this Xiaomi um, power bank, which is able to output 45 watts maximum. And let's see if this works. Yep, so there you go, 43 watts out of a simple power bank. And now I've disconnected that. I'm gonna plug this back in. Once again, this goes to the panels. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. I think I know what will happen. So it knows something is connected, but it, the power is so low that it doesn't even register. So these panels are basically useless. There is just, you just carry weight for no reason at all. They actually worked better when it was overcast. They were giving me like seven to 10 watts, but that's it. They're junk.